thin but deadly, slightly large but stealthy. All of these characteristics describe Laceus claviger, one of the species in the Laceus genus. She is a parasite queen, which makes up for 30% of the Laceus genus. I caught her in early October. I found her wandering near my dad's garden. The subgenus, more commonly known as Citronella ants, had their nuptial flights in early October. The queen had no wings, so she was a deolite. She isn't a normal queen, though. You can tell directly from appearance. Her thin frame can believe her to be a worker, but a slightly thicker thorax and gaster can distinguish her from a worker. In addition, her head is bigger than her host worker species queen, but is a smaller relative to her body size than a normal worker. Similar to most Laceus, she flies in early fall. That means shortly after flying, maybe a month or so, she will need to hibernate. But unlike most Laceus, she doesn't have enough fat reserves or protein reserves to pass the winter. Also, she doesn't have enough to raise a generation of nanitics. So, how does she do it? She goes into a host colony, assassinates the queen, and becomes the new queen. She is truly a usurper. So, I would naturally need a host colony, but introducing the parasite queen to the host queen directly can be very, very risky. I could end up with both queens dead. So, I prepared three introductory methods. First method of introduction. I acquire the host species worker and brood. I hibernate both of them. I introduce the brood and workers to the queen when they are all sedated. In three weeks of hibernation, they should act like a colony. Second method of introduction. I shall acquire host species worker and brood. I will raise the workers and brood in a separate container. Eventually, callow workers, which are very young workers whose exoskeletons have not hardened, should appear. I'll introduce those to the parasite queen. Third method of introduction. I will introduce a pre-killed or live worker to the queen. The queen should mix the worker's hydrocarbons with her own hydrocarbons. That will allow the queen to infiltrate the colony of workers and brood. Then they should act like a colony. I am really looking forward to introducing the parasite queen to the host colony. If the colony succeeds, it will be very, very interesting. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I upload every Friday. I'm just another ant keeper. Good luck on your ant keeping journey.